America. Hey there, Mission Control. Today I got a few projects I need to get started on, uh, and I'm hoping I can get them done. They're going to be some automation updates, things I've been wanting to get to for quite some time. So uh, let me give you a quick rundown on what we need to do. Okay, this project here I've been needing to get to for a while. It's really going to help us out with the uh, fungus situation. I'm going to connect automation into, uh, or I'm going to put the automation in line with the uh, exhaust fan. So I wrote all the code this morning, uh, tested it up at the house, and now I just need to install the actual unit in line over here. And then this thing should kick on once every hour given certain amount of logic. So we'll talk about that in uh, just a little bit. Let me show you the next project. So another project that I have is to update the automation on the master control unit here. We need to do that so that we can actually have the relay over here uh, turn the lights on and off. This has been something I've been needed to get to, but now the remainder of uh, the lights I need for, uh, for wintertime operations here, uh, what I want to say that, not wintertime operations, but the lights I need uh, for this winter time because in spring I'm going to install some more, summer I'm going to install some more as well, be done by the end of summer. But um, I'm going to get lanes one through four, beds one and two operational uh, with lights. So in order to do that, I need to get the software installed on here, have the relay start working on this one. When that's all tested out, then I'll be making three more of these control units here to actually control lanes one, three, and four. All right, so sadly, uh, we had to do a little insulation repair here on the west end of the building. We had a really big windstorm last night, hit the building pretty good, and ripped out the, uh, uh, the, the mounts that I have up at the top. So need to get up on the ladder and fix all that before it falls down and we have ourselves a real mess. Boy, well, let's get started. So this part's pretty cool. I think it's cool anyway. I'm plugging in to the control unit here and we are going to load it up with its new code. So, choose the port, go up to the top here, and we are lane two. I tell it what lane it is, and then it takes over from there. And then I got to tell it what network to connect to since I have a network up at the house and a network out here, two different networks. And then we hit load. To uh, have these running without the code, I connected the uh, 120 volt to the always or normally closed side of the relay. So now I just need to move it over to the normally closed or normally open, excuse me, normally open side. That way, um, on, if it's normally closed, then it, the lights will always have power until the command unit tells it to open, opening the circuit so that uh, no electricity flows. And if it's normally open, then it's waiting for a signal from the uh, control unit to close it, like a bridge, so electricity can flow through it. So we have to rewire that, which is just as easy as what you just saw me do. So let's go check the code, see if it's done uploading. All right, so that code appears to have uploaded. So let's check the serial window here. See if we can see everything talking like it's supposed to. Uh, that ain't right. Oh, you installed the wrong one. Oh boy. It helps if you select the right one I have found. All right, so while that's loading, tell you the next step. Uh, since there's a master and a slave unit in there, uh, the master does all the thinking. It's like the computer board. And then on the, uh, the slave unit, it's the one that kind of, it's the lane board. It understands everything that's going on at the lane and it talks to all the hardware that's going to be installed on here, the valves, the lights, all those things. So uh, right now I'm loading up the, uh, the master, the computer board, and once it's done, I'll reconnect this uh, USB cable to the slave unit, uh, the lane board, and we'll get it programmed as well because it needed to have some new information. It needed to know that there's lights now and it needed a toggle. 
uh, that relay on and off. So uh, I made it a lot smarter. All right, that just finished up. Now let's check it out again here. Clear that. Sending command. Yes, yes, very good. Grow light controller, we're connected. Okay, let's disconnect that now. And then so disconnect that. Connect this. And then we switch over to the slave unit. Okay, so that's compiling now. I just got done uh, loading the code to the slave unit here, and now I need to put power back onto the line. And the thing that I think is gonna go wrong is I might have a wrong uh, relay number based on the notes that I took, so I might have to troubleshoot that a little bit. Yeah, and it looks like it's not coming on, so. Well, that's not cool. Now we gotta troubleshoot. So I just got done troubleshooting. It looks like I just had some wires set up wrong. So now I'm gonna connect into the network out here and see if we can't turn these lights off uh, through the computer. Lights, I want the lights, give me the lights. Lane two, bed one. And Let's right. hit disable. And now, so I just hit disabled on that. Doesn't, doesn't look like it's working right. I heard it something clicked though, so now I gotta go figure out what clicked. A little more troubleshooting to go. We're so close. Well, we're getting really deep into this thing now. I gotta go back into my notebook here. I have the pinouts in the book. There was a bug in the software. I didn't, I was assigning a variable instead of doing a comparison on one of my values. And now I'm trying to figure out what the heck's going on? So, I'm going to keep working on this. I'll get back to you. Hmm. Mystery continues. Alright, so I've been playing around with it for a long time now, and I'm pretty sure I got it. So, here we go. The big unveil. I, it's enabled right now, obviously, and I'm going to disable it on the server, and that worked. Now I'm going to enable it again. It's back on. One more time. There it goes, and enable it again. Cycling through all the code, there we go, okay. All right, so here's the deal. All the, uh, the labels on the relay were all totally jacked up, so you had to get into the actual schematic and figure out everything, because their labels were absolutely horrendous. So, we got a new map. I'll use that when I build the, the next ones. Um, all my wiring and everything was actually correct. Uh, and the only thing, and I, I did find a bug in the code, so we fixed that and now it's working. So what that means is that now uh, this light will run 16 hours a day, which is the amount of time that uh, most plants need light. If you run it for 24 hours a day, you could actually end up kind of not doing right by the plant. I don't know the science of it, but all the gardeners, they say, don't do that. So um, I guess it kind of depends on the plant too. So that's kind of a more complicated answer than uh, what I'm giving you. Is, but uh, bottom line, 16 hours a day max, that's what we really want for sunlight. So we got that set up now and life is looking good here. Got the light automation up and running. That means the code can be reused across all the lanes, so I don't have to rewrite that again. Uh, pretty cool, glad this is working. Okay, so now I'm gonna work on the uh, fan unit here. What I'm doing is I'm repurposing one of my previous uh, automation control units here. We're gonna repurpose it just leave out the connector that was in there, the receptacle that was in there, excuse me. Okay. 
Look. Turn some power off here. Tester. All right, we're good. Disconnect. Disconnected. All right, I'm reloading the code because I had to switch networks here. I got the box installed, wired up. This works correctly, which I tested it inside and it worked. So now it's just a matter of did I hook it back up right? There's always a chance I screwed it up. Go. Okay, it's connecting to the building. Oh. I just blew something out. Blew something out. That's not good. Let's turn that off. I'm not quite sure what popped on me, but something popped. I smell. I smell smoke. It smells like I. Oh, maybe that really is not strong enough. It's got how many amps on it? 10 amps. Well, just another another day of stuff not working right. What was supposed to be easy is now hard. 10 amps. It has to be because it's not, not enough amps. Well, that just ain't gonna work. Okay, well, I blew the relay out. So, uh, I think I'm gonna have to go get a little more industrial strength relay. The 10 amp relays that I had, I just don't think are enough. I'm just striking out today. Just got the insulation tacked back up again. A uh, big windstorm came in, hit the side of the building, let kind of shook it enough. Big windstorm, big. And uh, kind of pulled down on the uh, metal stripping that I had on there. Luckily it held, but it sagged on me. So got it all tacked back up there with extra metal now. Uh, other side is great, but this is the windward side. So it's taking a beating. Didn't know that when I put it up. Uh, so let's see here, recap. I uh, wanted to work on the exhaust fan, the automation, and get this thing back up. This thing back up is, meh, not too bad, but you know it's never the same as when you first put it in. And it makes me just get worried about this insulation thing altogether, period. Uh, the exhaust fan, uh, the automation went well, the wiring in went well, but the turning it on didn't go so well when I popped the 10 amp uh, relay and uh, I did go look, it's 12, 12 amp uh, motor there. So should have checked that first. I assume, never assume, never do that. So anyway, we're gonna get a 30 amp uh, relay um, on the way and we'll get that put in next week. So we'll have that fan fully automated. And it's gonna be cool when it is going because it's gonna if the building's above 80 Fahrenheit, it's just gonna kick on and go until it drops down to 75 any time of year. Uh, if it's winter time, meaning the uh, average outside temperature is below 60 degrees Fahrenheit, uh, I maybe instead of winter, just call it the cold season, not summer, how about that? Um, then it's gonna to look to see if it's between the hours of 9 a.m. and 6 p.m., uh, which is daytime. And if it is between those hours, then it's gonna decide Okay, what's the inside temperature? Is it above 65 Fahrenheit? If it is, turn on for five minutes, uh, once an hour, and blow the building, bring in new air. So uh, the greenhouse folks, they say you wanna change over your air once an hour, so I'm gonna let that fan run for five minutes. Uh, it's a balancing act. Fresh air, CO2, getting rid of moist air, um, but you're removing heat. You're bringing in cooler air. So it's, this is balancing act. You can't do one or the other. You can't not have an exhaust fan and just have great heat because then you'll have nothing but humidity and problems and no fresh air. You'll have to have a CO2 uh, pump in here bringing in CO2. So anyway, uh, got to have the exhaust fan. I'm excited to get it all wired up. Uh, the testing went really, really well up in the house. Everything looked like it checked out. So once we get that relay, it should be good. And then, of course, we troubleshot uh, the automation install uh, on the lane. Um, Lane two, bed one, uh, sorry, tired, and uh, it's up and running. So we're able to toggle it on and off from the server. 
which means I can toggle it on and off from anywhere in the planet right now with my smartphone. So that's pretty freaking cool. So uh, not a bad day, didn't get as far as I wanted, but that's always the case. So uh, gonna go inside, hang out with Mrs. Martian, take it easy for the rest of the night and come back out tomorrow and hit it hard. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to give us a thumbs up and hit subscribe. And don't forget that you can follow us on Facebook, Twitter, and on Patreon. In the meantime, everyone, this is The Real Martian.